Hey guys, welcome to Driving TV. I am super excited because today I will be presenting you guys with my first podcast. And I decided that I wanted to do a series of podcasts in the form of a study guide with questions and answers for all of those of you who are on the go and would just like to have something to listen to and study. I'm going to be doing practice test questions and answers for different states. I thought it would be of great help. And well, this podcast for, uh, of today is for beginner drivers in New York. We're starting off with New York. And um, this is for all of those who are preparing to take the written driving exam in 2023. I know that preparing for a driving exam can be very stressful, which is why I decided to create this study guide with couple of questions and answers to help you prepare and feel confident on exam day. This study guide is designed to cover a wide range of topics that are essential for safe and responsible driving in New York. From road signs to traffic laws, this podcast will help you prepare and just simply reinforce knowledge for the upcoming exam. So join me as I guide you through the most important questions that you need to know to pass your written driving exam in New York in 2023. Let's begin. So the first question is, what is the speed limit in a residential area in New York? 25 miles per hour is the speed limit. What is the penalty for driving without insurance in New York. A fine, some suspension of your driver's license and or impoundment of your vehicle. What is the maximum amount of alcohol allowed for drivers under 21 years old in New York? Zero. It is illegal for drivers under 21 to have any alcohol in their system while driving. What is the move over law in New York? It requires drivers to slow down and move over one lane when they see a stopped emergency vehicle on the side of the road. What is the penalty for passing a stopped school bus in New York? A fine up to five points on your driver's license. Imagine that. And possible suspension of your driver's license. What is the legal blood alcohol content? BAC. Limit for drivers over 21 in New York. That would be 0 0.08. When are you required to use your headlights in New York? From one half hour after sunset to one half hour before sunrise. And whenever visibility is less than a thousand feet. What is the maximum speed limit on a highway in New York? 55 miles per hour unless otherwise posted. What is the speed limit in a school zone in New York? 15 miles per hour unless otherwise posted. What is the penalty for a first time conviction for driving under the influence? That would be a DUI in New York. A fine, possible jail time and suspension of your driver's license. What is the purpose of a yield sign? To indicate that drivers must give the right of way to traffic on the intersecting road. What is the proper way to make a right turn at a red light in New York? After coming to a complete stop and checking for traffic, Drivers may turn right on a red unless otherwise posted. What is the minimum age to obtain a Class D 
driver's license in New York. 16 years old. What should you do if your car starts to skid on a wet road? You take your foot off the gas pedal and steer in the direction you want the car to go. What is the penalty for driving with a suspended license in New York? A fine, possible jail time, and or extension of your driver's license suspension. What is the purpose of a no passing zone sign? To indicate an area where passing is not allowed. What is the maximum speed limit in a business district in New York? 30 miles per hour unless otherwise posted. What should you do if your brakes fail while driving? Shift into a lower gear, use your emergency brake, and or find a safe place to steer off the road. What is the penalty for reckless driving in New York? A fine, possible jail time, and or suspension of your driver's license. What is the purpose of a stop sign? To indicate that drivers must come to a complete stop at the marked line or before entering the crosswalk. What is the penalty for a first-time conviction for speeding in New York? A fine, a possible point on your driver's license. What is the purpose of a no U-turn sign? To indicate that drivers are not allowed to make a U-turn in the designated area. What should you do if your brakes fail? You shift to a lower gear and pump the brakes to create friction. When are you allowed to pass on the right? Well, you may pass on the right if there are at least two lanes of traffic going in your direction and the driver ahead of you is making a left turn. What does a steady red arrow signal mean? You must stop and remain stopped until the signal changes. What is the maximum speed limit in a school zone? 20 miles per hour. What should you do if your vehicle begins to skid on a slippery surface? Take your foot off the gas pedal and steer in the direction of the skid. What is the minimum amount of liability insurance required in New York? $25,000 for bodily injury and $50,000 for death and $10,000 for property damage. When are you required to use your headlights? From 30 minutes after sunset until 30 minutes before sunrise and anytime you cannot see at least a thousand feet ahead of you. What should you do if you have a tire blowout? Keep the steering wheel straight and slowly release the gas pedal. What do you do if you're involved in a collision? Stop your vehicle, call the police, exchange information with the other driver and notify your insurance company. What is the minimum amount of space you must leave between your vehicle and a bicyclist when passing them? At least three feet. What is the maximum speed limit in New York City? 25 miles per hour. What should you do if you approach a railroad crossing with flashing lights? You stop and wait for the train to pass. What is the proper hand position on a steering wheel? 
nine and three o'clock. What should you do if you miss your exit on the highway? You continue to the next exit and then turn around. What is the penalty for driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs in New York? License suspension, fines, and possible jail time. What is the minimum age for obtaining a learner's permit in New York? 16 years old. What should you do if your vehicle begins to hydroplane? Take your foot off the gas pedal and steer in the direction you want to go. What should you do if you're driving and a tire suddenly blows out? Keep a firm grip on the steering wheel. Take your foot off the gas pedal and let the vehicle coast to a stop. What should you do if you approach a school bus with flashing red lights and an extended stop arm? You stop and remain stopped until the lights stop flashing and the stop arm is retracted. Now, what should you do if you encounter a pedestrian crossing the road? Yield to the pedestrian and allow them to cross safely. What is the penalty for driving with a suspended or revoked license in New York? Your license gets suspended or revoked, fines, and even possible jail time. That's for sure. Now, what should you do if you see an emergency vehicle with flashing lights and sirens? First thing you do is pull over to the right and come to a complete stop. You can't move. You stop until they pass you. What should you do if you are driving and a tire blows out? Keep a firm grip on the steering wheel. Take your foot off the gas pedal and let the vehicle coast to the stop. What should you do if you experience a tire blowout out while driving? Hold the steering wheel tightly and keep the vehicle moving straight until you can safely slow down and pull over to the side of the road. So you can see these two questions are very similar, but with more detail on what you should do in case you experience one of these. Now, continuing to the next one, what is the legal blood alcohol content, which is BAC? Limit for drivers over the age of 21 in New York. And well, The legal BAC limit for drivers over the age of 21 is, as I previously have stated before, 0.08%. Hope you guys remembered. What is the best way to check your blind spot when changing lanes? Turn your head and check over your shoulder the direction you plan to move while keeping your hands on the steering wheel and maintaining a straight course. What should you do if you are driving and it starts to rain heavily? You slow down, increase your following distance, and turn on your headlights. What should you do if you approach a traffic sign that is not working? Treat the intersection as a four-way stop. When is it legal to pass another vehicle on the right? When the vehicle in front of you is turning left, and there is an available lane on the right to pass. How far in advance should you signal before making a turn? At least 100 feet. What is the penalty for texting while driving? A fine and points added to your driving record. What is the hand signal for stopping or slowing down? The left hand and arm pointing downward. How far away should you park from a fire hydrant? At least 15 feet. What should you do if you hit a parked car? You leave a note with your name, address, and insurance information on the windshield of the car. What is the maximum speed limit on a highway in New York? 55 miles per hour. When should you yield to pedestrians? In a crosswalk? Always. 
What is the minimum following distance that you should maintain behind the vehicle in front of you? At least two seconds. What should you do if you're involved in an accident? Stop immediately and exchange information with the other drivers and call the police if necessary. When driving in a roundabout, who has the right of way? When driving in a roundabout, drivers already in the roundabout have the right of way over drivers entering the roundabout. When driving on major highways, always stay alert. Keep your eyes moving. Be ready to react to road hazards. It is important to stay alert on highways and be ready to react to unexpected hazards. To avoid highway hypnosis, you should avoid looking at any one thing for more than a few seconds. So make sure to keep that in mind. An inattentive driver is a driver who stares at objects of the roadway or daydreams while driving, maintains eye contact during a conversation with a passenger while driving, or only watches the vehicle ahead of their, of their vehicle. So do not become distracted by looking at passengers, attempting to find something in your vehicle, looking at reading materials, sightseeing, or daydreaming while driving. Continue scanning the road, checking your mirrors, and looking at the instrument panel at regular intervals. So to reduce the effects of headlight glare at night, you should look to the right edge of the road. If oncoming drivers do not dim their headlights for you, then keep your eyes on the right side of the road ahead. Do not look directly directly at the oncoming headlights because that glare may blind you for several seconds and it's dangerous. So just to the right edge of the road, remember that. Now, you should be cautioned when passing a bicycle because the cyclist may have to swerve into traffic to avoid an object on the road. And I know you can see how this is dangerous. You should always be cautioned when passing a bicycle because the cyclist may have to swerve into traffic to avoid an object on the road. Always be particularly careful when driving near bicyclists. The cyclist may have to swerve into traffic to avoid something on the road. Keep that in mind. You must yield for emergency vehicles when you see a flashing red or blue light or hear a siren. You must always yield right of way to any emergency vehicle that is using its siren or flashing lights. What may help drivers conserve gasoline? Hmm, slowing down gradually. Every time you have to stop quickly, it takes time to fuel to accelerate and get your vehicle back up to the speed of traffic. Drivers who look far ahead of their vehicles can slow down gradually or change lanes to avoid unnecessary braking leading to better gas mileage. Braking abruptly, it's not a good idea. So if you need to drive in a foggy weather, turn on your low beam headlights you're required to use your headlights during the day when visibility is reduced to 500 feet or less. When you first turn on your headlights, be sure they are adjusted to the low beam setting using the high beams in fog or rain. Will cause the light to reflect back into your eyes, lowering visibility even more. Do not drive a speed above 10 miles per hour. An end school zone sign indicates the end of a reduced speed zone basically <laughs> do not exceed the school zone speed limit during indicated times the end of a reduced speed school zone will be indicated by the end school zone regulatory signed and well guys uh that would be all for today i mean i gave you a couple of questions and they're by far the most important questions that you will encounter in your written test so I hope it's very helpful for you. Thank you for tuning in to the study guide podcast for beginner drivers, preparing for the written driving exam in New York in 2023. I hope these questions and answers have helped and 
now you feel more confident and prepare for that exam. Remember to always practice safe driving habits and to stay calm and focused during the test. It's very important. If you found the study guide helpful, I invite you to check my YouTube channel where I offer more tutorials and classes on driving education. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Thank you again for listening and good luck on your exam.